All right, after going back and forth, back and forth on how I'm going to get this fitted, um, kind of kind of had a, uh, an epiphany real quick, is that uh, I could technically get this thing to fit inside here, uh, going through this loophole here for it to uh, mount into so it would have somewhere to go, and then uh, just kind of cut along here, alongside here, and cut into the battery tray. I think that's going to be the best way rather than trying to fit it inside here. Um, I'm just not a big fan of uh, putting in here. So uh, yeah, it'll make things life a little bit easy trying to get into for the micro SD card. No big deal. I can take it apart and then reformat it or do whatever is necessary. Um, so I'm not too worried about it. So before I, <laughs> I started cutting and I forgot that I didn't have the, uh, the camera on uh, and I started cutting. So what I did was I basically went through here, measured out how far I needed to go, scratched it alongside here and then scratched it alongside here so I know exactly where to, uh, where to cut. So I, <laughs> like I said, I was getting pretty close to getting all the way through uh, and realized the camera wasn't rolling so that was uh, that's as far as I got so I'm just gonna continue uh, continue to cut here So made the rough cut, we can kind of pop this guy out real quick, clean up some of these uh, plastic sharp edges here. Now depending on what battery you got, this may cut into your battery compartment as far as how much, uh, how much space you have left. Luckily, with the battery that I have, uh, it will not interfere. Um, I made sure that the battery had quite a bit of room uh, in the battery tray. It's going to be the exact same one as my uh, previous uh, Game Boy build that fits in the battery tray. Sometimes it just uh, does not work the way that you want it as far as going through your build. But that is the build's life. It's all about compromise and trying to get things to fit. And then once you get things to fit, it's always it's always fun. So kind of see inside here it needs quite a bit of cleanup from uh, from that cut. So the one major thing that you really definitely do not want to cut is uh, this piece right here. This is what keeps your battery tray closed. So word of caution if you're cutting inside. Everything else kind of doesn't really matter except for this screw hole and this screw hole to hold your back on. Other than that, that's it. So you're, f you're free to cut anything along inside there. So let's one thing about working with plastic is that it melts very, very easily. It makes everything pretty rough. So If you're okay with giving it a little cleanup to make it look like a good job, then 
spend the time to do so. So I'll spend the rest of the time cleaning this up. But as for a test fit, we can see how well we did. Oop. Looks like this cable's in the way. So let's pop it through the other hole for now. And it looks like a pretty daggone good fit. So you can kind of see went far into the plastic um, and made this entire thing flat inside. So the only thing that's popping up right now is the uh, the out of fruit 1000 C's just kind of getting in the way a little bit, but. Uh, quite honestly, I'm okay with that. Once it's hot glued, it's not going to go anywhere. The only two wires, or four wires coming out of it are battery and the power connectors that we have. But as a quick preliminary test, <laughs> that is pretty freaking close. Uh, on the inside, of course, it'll have uh, a little bit there. Um, just need to do quite a bit of cleanup on the inside here but uh, as far as getting this to uh, to work out it's looking pretty good and it doesn't protrude too much into the battery tray as you can see here kind of leaves us access to other USB ports if necessary um, that we can wire in and uh, go from there so uh, I think I think that was a good choice on on cutting that and getting everything fit Thank <laughs> you.